the new year got you thinking about injecting a bit of life into your living room or adding some bling to your bathroom? Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen is back to help tackle some more of your interior design dilemmas. Good morning, Hi, Lawrence. Lawrence. Good morning. I love the idea of bling in your bathroom, Holly. <laughs> you like that? I think I can imagine you in the bath with a bit of bling. <laughs> Well, stop imagining that right now. Let's go straight to our first call. And we've got Nicole on the line. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you this morning? You OK? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, yeah. Oh, you've got doggies. You've got a busy oh, yeah. household there, <laughs> obviously. Fancy thing, the dingo thing. I was about to... Nicole's turning into a wolf. <laughs> um, so, uh... Are you all right, Nicole? Are they your dogs? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> which bit do you want to... Which bit do you want to brighten up? It's my kind of dining room hallway come kitchen. OK, okay. let's have a look at it and then uh, Lawrence can give you a, a hand. OK, So this is the think? space here and you want to add a bit of colour. You say it's, a, it's light grey, dark grey and mm. beige. You've only got one colour photo between your living room and your dining room, but that's it. So you want to brighten up this space. Well, Lawrence, I reckon you can help with that. I can help with this. Now, Nicole, you've actually kind of got it slightly the wrong way around. You're, you've got a very dark colour on the walls in the darker area. Actually, if you swapped it round a bit and you had more darker colour in the light space, you see back there in the light space with the roof light, uh, that now feels a little bit over bright. So perhaps if that sofa had a little bit more dark green on it, it would work very, very well. But the big problem you've got is agoraphobia. All of your furniture is back to the wall. So it's making the spaces feel very kind of unfurnished. Actually, bring the sofa unit into the middle of the space a little bit more and maybe a rug, a nice bright orange, citrusy or red rug in the middle of the space will make it feel uh, like a comforting and rather glamorous island. But I love what you've done. Though. I mean, I love the panelling. I love the colour palette. It's all very distinguished. It's all very grown up. It's all very gentlemanly. I think it just needs an injection of a bit of a feminine touch at the moment. All right. I hope that helped. Uh, Nicole, let's talk to Michelle now. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Hi, Hi there. Michelle. Right, OK, this is not your room that you're talking about. No, it's my teenage son. OK, how old is he? He's about to turn 16 and he's desperate to have a more grown-up bedroom and on top of his wish list is a bigger desk because he's got too much stuff for the small desk he's got. Well, uh, uh, also, yeah. uh, he's spending a lot of time in there because I thought yeah. because of the, the uh, closures of the schools. Yeah, he's in yeah, there most, also, of the, I mean, most of the day. Yeah. You know, Philip, he's a, he's a teenage boy. Of course he's spending a lot of time in his bedroom. It's what they're, what they're for. Um, what I do like is I love the colour palette you've got there, Michelle. I think that's a, a, a wonderful starting point. I think the furniture would look so much smarter if it was grey. Um, and actually, things like that wardrobe would paint perfectly in a slate grey. But I think the idea of making it feel a little bit more grown up, rather than having a desk, why not having a, a, a long, narrow console table, the sort of thing you can get very, very easily as a flat pack, and then wall-mounted shelves so that the storage becomes much more seamless. Um, and I think change the lighting slightly, a, a, a nice statement modern lamp on there will make the whole thing feel like a, a kind of a, a James Bond doudoir uh, rather than a teenage bedroom. And is he, um, does he have any ideas about colours? Because that was, uh, that's a, you know, sort of quite a bold purpley colour that he's got in there at the moment. No, he's had that for the last few years. He's wanting something different, but because he's a teenager, all I can get from him is I want a grown-up bedroom. Yeah, well, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I think you, that, tell, him, that, tell, what... him to, tell him that actually taste has caught up with him, um, and that in fact that's the perfect colour for a bedroom. I think I think you know leave it there, or else someone's going to list it. It's going to become grade two listed. Mm. Okay, all right. Thank you. Hope that helps. Um, we've got Claire. Hi, Claire. Hi. Good Hi, morning yeah. to you. So you've got a question about your fireplace. Let's have a look at your room. OK. It was the first thing that you see when you walk in and it just dominates the room. And when we bought the house, it was the first thing we said we need to change and we still haven't three years later. I quite like it. I, I think it I looks quite too. nice. Mm, Lawrence, what do you think? I, I think it's, it's a very, very nice feature. I think, in fact, funnily enough, it's less about the fireplace and more about the television. That television is a very, very black lump above it. If that wall was a little bit darker, if that wall was a kind of a, a darker grey, perhaps, or perhaps a navy blue, the whole thing would work so much better. But my big tip for you, Claire, is to get a pair of mirrors to go either side of the fireplace, preferably the ones that look a bit like windows, you know, with glazing bars and maybe a dome top. That'll stop that feeling of claustrophobia you've got in there. But actually, 
yes, it's the television that's catching your eye, not necessarily the fireplace. OK, so you, you got, obviously the two very important things, just in the last sort of 20 seconds, Lawrence, would you tr trim, the, trim the telly down in size? No, I think find a, a darker, better, more curatorial colour like a darker blue. If the rest of the room is kept pale, that dark wall will actually make the space look much, much bigger. And it'll That's just good. stop that television feeling quite so yeah, overpowered. Absolutely. Obviously, Lawrence. it's lovely when you two are on it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Lawrence. Very much Take care. Uh, Thank that you. Will help.